dias. Buenos dias. We are about to snorkel Cabo Pomo. Finally. In the beginning of 2022, we spent seven weeks traveling the, the peninsula of Baja, Mexico. We're Rich and Robin. And this is our Midlife Van. After spending time with friends in Cabo San Lucas, we headed back to Cabo Plomo National Park. We were so glad to get back to Cabo Plomo and find the conditions nice and calm for some snorkeling. We're hiking, go snorkeling in Cabo Plomo. So we're hiked from the beach over there. We're gonna hike to the rocky beach over here and drift snorkel back to camp. What a beautiful day. I think it'll be a great snorkel. My first snorkel in Cabo Plomo. The rock formations at Cabo Plomo make it for a very interesting experience. Even though we are camped along the Sierra Cortez, you can take a hike along the coastline and see rock formations similar to those in Joshua Tree in California. The sand, the rocks, and the water make for beautiful views. Beautiful hike, even in booties. Started about Three little coves over there. And I think we have one more cove to go. Yeah, this is a lot higher uh, tide than when we walked through here the other day. This is our starting point. Yep. about to snorkel Cabo Pomo. Yes, finally. About three quarters of a mile back to camp, half mile, something yeah, like that. three quarters probably. Yeah. Here we go.
Even close to shore at Cabo Plomo, you can see many different schools of fish in different sizes and varieties. We spent a couple days at Cabo Plomo snorkeling and catching up with some friends we had helped get unstuck out of the mud at Conception a few weeks earlier. We went back to El Caballero for another great meal before heading out of Cabo Plomo. Nice little place. Yeah. Great little Very food. Good. Yeah, really good food. And margaritas. Strong margarita. When we left Cabo Plomo, the clouds started to roll in and we found a place to camp on the beach on our way to Santa Rita Hot Springs. Perfect jam! The beach that we're staying on tonight, all to ourselves. The van's back there. It's gonna be a windy night. But it's going to be a beautiful sunset, I think. Sun's going down now. It's going to be a beautiful view. What is that, Rich? Well, I'm pretty confident, but just in case, let's document this as pre and be in the pre stuck picture. Right now it looks good, no problems, but you ever know in the morning. <laughs> A little windy this morning, a little rain, not much. Gonna head on out. Dogs welcoming us. He's saying, Buenos dias. Coming down sideways into the door. Uh, time to go. Oh. No, you can't come with us. You gotta stay here, okay? Oh, good doggy. Hey, <laughs> buddy, where do Leading the way. He says to go that way, we're gonna go this way. We had a quiet night alone on the beach and when we woke up in the morning, it started to rain so we decided to head out and thankfully we didn't get stuck. Thankfully, Rich is a good mechanic, so when little issues pop up, he just takes a look at it on the side of the road. The long dirt road to Santa Rita Hot Springs bounced some of our stuff around the van it's on the drive out. Bad. I've seen it worse, but not the best. Since the hot springs were pretty crowded, we decided to hike a loop around the stream.
it's slimy. We got it. We got it. Uh -huh. After doing some scrambling, we decided to turn back instead of continuing into the canyon. Going down the rocks was a little harder than going up. How was it? It was uh, cold and bad. <laughs> you have a bruise on your butt? Here comes the next one. Ow. I think we are a little too old for this. In our next video, we finally make it to Todos Santos.